after working on this mission, what are you feeling now? It's a pretty amazing emotional state. When you get to a point like this in, a, in your career, an event that you've worked for, in my case, over 16 years to get here, you kind of think back to all the people who have helped you. OSIRIS-REx is three missions in one to make that kind of exploration cost-effectively for not much more than the price of a blockbuster movie. As OSIRIS-REx was actually out in space and began making its approach closer and closer to the asteroid, it used its suite of onboard camera instruments to actually image the surface in increasing detail. Benugrin detail from just a few tiny pixels on our screen to this super high-resolution world littered with giant rugged boulders. Bennu is a totally different creature. It really looks like a pile of rubble. You know, there were obviously a lot of firsts in this mission, and you know, there was a time when you said, you know, a lot of what ifs, basically. You know, I mean, what if we could actually send a spacecraft to an asteroid? What if we really could bring back a sample of the solar system from billions of years ago? But it's always really rewarding, like even when you saw the first, you know, approach picture to Bennu, it's like, oh my gosh, that's our target. The tag is just the pinnacle of the mission so far. Getting the sample back to Earth is obviously going to be the, the great event of the entire mission. I think one of the age-old human questions perhaps gaps directly into, why are we here? We want to understand the origin of the Earth, the origin of the Moon, the other terrestrial planets, but the earliest histories of those bodies is wiped out. We had the late heavy bombardment 500 million years after solar system evolution, and that's what dominates the surface of the Moon. The Earth is a very active geologic body, you've got planet's history. The asteroids record the earliest stages of the solar system from even events that took place before our solar system formed, the stages of protostellar collapse and the formation of the protoplanetary disk, and then the formation of hydrated minerals and organic molecules in the first 10 million years of solar system history. Asteroid Bennu is a time capsule from the earliest stages of solar system evolution. Our main goal is to collect a
I hear that you're gonna feel the shock waves and the sound waves. T minus. One minute and counting. Status. Range green. No issues with the range. Everything continues to be go. A final status check of Atlas, Centaur, and Osiris Rex readiness will be conducted. down the middle of the range. And, and you see the solid rocket booster jettison. Separation looks good. wild emotional ride thinking of everybody you know, that's with us that's not with us and uh
We started to approach Bennu from a distance and it started to fill up the camera field of view. It looked exactly like we thought it would, with a few boulders sticking out. But as we got closer, we expected to see a very sandy surface with maybe a few boulders here and there. And what we saw is very little sand. And we saw these mountains, we saw boulders, we saw rocks, and we saw very few areas that had this sand.